the flesh of that condition, or a little wine, when your stomach say, not to your brain say, you fall apart. This is a little wine for your brain say, it's a little wine for your stomach say. That means the flesh is full of it. If you event, you should eat that. A little piece of meat, and a little piece of all the time, grain or vegetables. And you should have to have some piece of meat because it's not an acid. The little wine with a mimic acid is neutralizer and then it's the wine. So these men were aware of what was going on in the chemistry of the past. Now we come along and we can benefit from it by learning to understand more of what we are talking about as time is our own time. But individually, the reform about that is important to you. So that you know what you can do and not the other person. You can't help the other person if they are type A, you are type B. You are a member of the people. So you can't follow their system. You have to follow what is practical for you. To work with it to get that same understanding and that. So 80% alkaline, 70% acid. These are your blood types A, A, B, B, and O. And make sure that you, if you're regulating your diet, this is going to be alkaline and acid. Want to take a break? Okay. Okay, we have coffee in there. So. <laughs> that it is own strength or health to cope again with the environment. And that's what they were doing. They were actually fine tuning or re uh, or aligning their right and left hemispheres of the brain to focus in order to communicate. So when you met them thousands of years ago, they spoke very little and they looked at you and the mere look was enough to straighten me out. <laughs> they have what is called the hypnotic or cosmic vision. The wise men. Actually what we're realizing today is that the brain does its own self-alignment through the withdrawal to the silence level. At what time of day was it practical? Now we the day is being established in between 3 and 5 and the earth exposure to the sun and the cosmic rays before dawn makes it realistically valid because all people who have done any contribution creatively to the environment got the inspiration, inspiration between 4 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the form of a dream or a vision and that they call invention level. The brain drops down into alpha and theta more easily in those hours and stay there longer and can record more. So we're finding more and more evidence of this occurring among people who contributed to the creation. Now as far as using it in terms of health and in terms of coping with your environment, it's a very valid approach. So have that period set aside for facing in and observing and listening. I want to ask you a question. Um, if you take a person's baby says that if you had an environment that was all white, totally white, it would freak you out in time. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, if you have an environment that is, well, shall we say monotone, cream, beige, tan, Here, just totally you. monotone, is that unhealthy? It's just a, I'm doing fine as long as I'm in and, that, and that's fine? Uh, I'll check. Uh, it'll tend to yeah, okay. uh, oh, slow you down, uh, but you will cope with routine then. You can handle routine then. But wouldn't a little bit of soft color be a little more healing for a person? Like a soft well, most of the soft colors are too really pink. That's what I said. That's why you put that thing on a little pinker. 
So they use pink suit to the ground, but in multiple colors, they give you more. Multiple colors give you more control. Well, I'll show you. Which color is your favorite? Multiple colors give you more control. Okay, let's say AG's half. Oh, absolutely. Molotov. I thought Mr. Fenn got to be unhealthy. Yeah. He did that all that years ago. <laughs> cope with his environment because yeah. the situation was very high stress. All right, in the healing process, wouldn't it be better to have some pink and lavender? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But he's got to work up to that. Well, we're getting there. All right. Okay, but uh, no, that was just something I wanted to know for my own education. And I want to know something before I go. I want to know why from someone that's, you know, your father, okay, why would you, why would you, I put the trick on my husband. Maybe they can hinder the idea of father. And he really did. Now I'm talking about a kid. It's a little nice when you're a kid. It's a little nice. But I. It's a little nice. No, they all kind of do this. I saw this. I used to think I was going to be a little bit of a father. Oh, it was. It was. It was. Oh, it was. 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 So, you see, you're not carrying anything of it is, you're carrying a relationship. But that is what is called confrontation for your own father's relationship. Your father is not going to perform. If you carry this problem, are you facing any kind of good at all when you're facing your father? Really if we are resolved by facing that form and not become yeah. stressed out like a form. Oh, yeah, but not all the way. In other words, the husband no, is only yeah. a confrontation yeah. reminder of no, the father's form. Oh, so oh, his form. oh, my poor husband, bless his heart. <laughs> his form is just like a mirror. The real person is confronted with the dad. He can't tell you that. Oh, because that is that. And that is no, I mean, So the husband is only a mirror action. But because of the mirror action, you can pay his off to the husband instead of So the rebellion can't come, it goes directly to the father. It has to transfer it over to a husband. That's why I, that's why I said what I did. <laughs> Now we Nancy, no there's nothing like after their death that you have plenty of time to reflect. I'm glad. I'm glad to know that because I'm just now realizing that. Oh, yes. See, my dad's way older than my mother, so I agree. Hey, I didn't come from his line. Why am I right? And also, one more question. When you have convex vision, is it... I'm still trying to take no, it's a dissipation of rice, sir. I don't have to spit you. Oh, no. Because you're starting, it's almost like, like a, you're like not starting. It's like it's pulling it. Yeah. 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 Who's, uh, the, uh, who's getting ready? 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 Who's so they would get all that up, put up the big one. Well, I mean, you know, you may wait for the office for about 50 days by that time. Yeah, wait a minute. There was no microscope that ever did it. So he had to use his eyes and act like a microscope. And after the century, we do the horse and you want to do the feet. On the repetitions, you got to breathe before you come to feet. I forgot who he said the daughter was. He said not to me. He said, well, there was a mother of the and something was the daughter. Oh, really? Yeah. I forgot to ask him that. Adana? You said Miss Sessie. Miss Sessie was the mother of the invention. Who said that? Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Isn't that yeah. going to be fantastic? So they place mat. But are you going to uh, uh, laminate them? So that no, no. This is what was left. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, it was. I can do the type for you. You know, why don't you let me have one? All right. And, uh, good printing press. No, I don't have a printing press anymore. But but I can uh, I can get them printed though. The problem we have is the thickness of the paper. You need thicker paper. Oh, okay. This is seventy weight. Do you have any thicker ball? Uh, yeah, you can go up to hundred pounds. That's what they want. Paper is no problem. Paper is no problem. Oh, that's no problem. Now, did, or were, were these Xerox or printed? I had printed. the original copy and I Xeroxed it. Uh, you Xeroxed it? Okay. What is the uh, real reason yeah. you have to keep my business? This will cost me a whole lot. You work on that nice piece of money and I have to ask you. No, no, no. And then, or is it going to grow in the knowledge of business? Or? <laughs> You know, maybe you the room. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's the formula. Two teaspoons of honey. And eight ounces of distilled water. And drink two glasses per day. This allows you to be safe from the effects of the uric acid and from the tissue of the animal kingdom or the bird kingdom. Now, if you do your own cooking, then sake or rice wine can be heated up and put on top of it. So to, that way it will neutralize the effect. Heat the, heat the rice wine. Uh, put, it, uh, put the rice wine in a bottle uh, and uh, take a, a cup of uh, boiling water, just immerse it inside, let it uh, stay in the boiling water for a the while, then pour the hot sake on top of it, either the fish or chicken or the beef, and that will uh, neutralize the system. Can you just drink it while you're eating? Yes, you can drink it too. <laughs> A little for your stomach sake. Remember that these things are for your stomach sake. They're not for your brain sake. All these uh, wonderful uh, remedies are not for your brain. They're for your stomach. Now, if you cook in rice, I know everybody likes to cook rice. Here is the way you cook it. Very simple. You fill the pot with the rice, with the rice, and then you add the water. And use your fingers, see with my fingers? So the rice and layer of my thumb joint is right above the thumb joint in the water. You know, let the water fill right up, up to this point. You fill it right up to that. Right above the rice. Put the finger on the rice. Bring the water above the joint. And you bring the water to the boil, and then cut it back down to medium, or 10 to 15 minutes, and then go blow it, and all the water drain up. Then you can put it in the oven, and let it extranize for about 10 or 15 minutes to convert it into natural sugar to be utilized right away so that you don't get that. What temperature is that? Uh, 200, 180 to 200. You can buy it. You don't want to cook it on top of the stove the entire time. No. Bring it down to where the water to disappear and then put it in the oven. See, that extranization is like converting it into. Uh, premium gas. You're, you're getting the, the, the starch into the sugar right away, and it takes you for two hours to be to convert. Here you're converting it faster by putting it in the oven and the volume. And last night where we went to eat at Casey, you see they had a veteran night bread? Yes. That was, no, you didn't feel tired when you ate that. It didn't lose a time. It was strictly dextronized and ready to go into the body. That's right, that's sweet. That's the reason that we like that so much. Yeah. And that's the dexterization that the, the Swiss people discovered that years ago, but they never realized beyond it being a non fattening food, that it was already high energy release food. It didn't gain weight, it didn't provide the condition of gain weight, but it also did provide high energy release. But they didn't realize it today, they realize it now. That Melt the toast or any kind of a dry toast out. There's a better way to eat starch rather than getting the actual dextrin to work. Here. 
the northern road, but it was so it was a different stress level. You burn up energy quicker. So you have to have compensation, otherwise you get burned up. The vegetables should always be cut on a slant to prevent the, the tops of the, uh, the minerals from reaching out too fast. You cut it out the middle first, and then you cut it on the back one. Never cut it this way, because the minerals can reach out too quick. See, like if this is a mineral, I'd say a triangle, and this is a square representing minerals. By cutting it at an angle, you form a kind of a fiber trap, so it doesn't reach out the cooking. And you don't need high heat to overcook it, because the food should be semi-raw, but partially thin soft for ingestion. And if you put it in the oven to dextronize, so it automatically convert the starch into sugar, you benefit more. And you find you don't feel sleepy, you don't feel tired enough. For those who are changing over, they feel a little bit. Eventually, as you start to live this way, you notice you, know you can eat and don't feel the type of sensation. You're, you're more alert. It's because the sugar that is natural for the body to work with is going through at the time more regularly. And you don't have the problem with high blood pressure. One of the problems in this society is we, we have to move more often than normal in our work. So the pressure builds up very fast versus it being slower. Unless you're highly traumatized, then the pressure will be very slow. But the percentage of time you're going to have to be on, constantly on the move. And therefore, you don't want the foods to be constantly aggravating you, dropping gas or pressure. You want to be healthy to have energy to work. The next thing you want to minimize is the oil products. That's why your natural oil or your clarified butter is the best oil products to use instead of animal oil or the animal fat. You see, in the oil you have two types of cholesterol. two types. One is the white, which we call the insulator. And then there is the yellow, which is called the lubricator. People down south need the lubricator. We don't need the insulator. People up north need the insulator. They don't need the lubricator. So we find that we want to utilize more vegetable oils or nut oils here in the south. And those who live a far north, they can utilize the animal fat or the bird fat, that type of fat, because they need that for the insulation. Even when it gets a little cold, like here, put the idea of what you tell them. If, uh, if here, down here, if you, uh, periodically we do get cold, right? We are better off with tea. That's the clarified butter. The clarified butter, made from the Cream. Now the cream does not have lactic acid. The milk has the lactic acid. So when the cow releases the milk after being milk, the cream floats above the milk. And they, they skim the cream off and they whip that into a butter. Now, then they clarify it by heating it up. This you can do in your own to the oven. They will heat it to where it separates between the white cholesterol and the yellow cholesterol. 
consists is already coming from a non-lactic base, it will give you a better effect to cope with heat in this environment than to go eat a piece of meat with have uric acid. So you don't really need the meat to insulate against the cold periodically coming in here. So the ghee is better. That's why in India, the Indians they use the ghee or the madras or water because they it uh, help to insulate them against the periodical cold weather. But at the same time, the ghee builds up bone marrow, which you do need. But she didn't, you know, we didn't talk about the ghee, but I've thought about that since. Because they eat so much, they eat a lot of uh, sweets, yeah, a lot of sugar, lots of well, flour and sugar. The, the, that came after the uh, British people went into that area and made them make white sugar. Um, let's clear up what white sugar is, yeah, what's good or bad about it. Sugar. Normally, it comes from all three zones. Zone one, you have maple. Maple sugar from zone one. Zone two, you have the cane and the olive stalk. type of reed making sugar. I'm not talking about honey now, because that's part of the flowers. Right. Mm -hmm. The actual stalk, the cane stalk, that the squeeze and get the circle, and then the crunch of corn, these are all the middle of the day. This is in the morning from the tree, maple. And this is the middle of the day from the cane and the stalk, the corn. And at night time, you have the uh, beet, now, the competition began years ago when Germany and Europe grew the beet to get sugar. Then the British went into India and saw the cane and the cane was easier to grow than the beet. Then they tried to bring it over to this part of the world. So that's how come a lot of people brought over to grow the cane. White sugar was developed in China and India a long time ago, but not for eating. It was for kidney disease. What was the design for eating was the brown sugar or rock sugar as they call it, where the actual the left of crystallized by heating it up and it gave power to the molasses separate and then you had the brown sugar. But then when people got sick from drinking bad water and traveling around, their kidneys got locked up. And then the yogis or the uh, natural doctors and those kind of that will discover that a little sugar will cure them. Well what kind of sugar? until they discovered was white sugar. And that was the cure. One teaspoon of the white sugar making the urinate back. And people who suffer from the disease of the kidneys and the cat and the lid, all of these give them a little white sugar and before they let them go to the actual urinate. And so released from the back of the back So that came, but it then, like everything else, because it was more abundant than corn, more abundant than beef, more abundant than maple, we need chocolate with it. We need candy with it. We need uh, all kinds of candy or uh, sweets with it. Uh, we need that as far as making uh, sugar uh, artwork. In, uh, up in Canada, you should see the artwork in good sugar. I was down at a friend of mine when she was actually there. All kinds of things that they made little cups and dolls, pots and pans and spoons. Bottle, one bottle, you know, they, they, these are magicians who do uh, psychometrics. 
there was a comment as by Coca-Cola, especially the one by Sherwood Bill and the Coca-Cola model that had the label on. And then they come and do the tricks on the stage. I take the model and put the photo in. Look at this. I gave you any one of you to do this. <coughs> and then pour the rest of the cook. And then like, oh boy. And then, anybody wants to try? This is like a hand trick. Really, the, 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 the real Coca-Cola bottle is the one you can have the guy. And the trick Coca-Cola bottle is the one you did it with. So you can imagine what they were doing, what they were doing, what they were Made all kinds of different things. But that's the middle of the day. So really, the, the honey became the neutral food because it took the blossoms of the tree. And then we can use honey. Now we find out that sugar or honey, and they burn. They burn this up because they start eating it. Back. Do you always see a foam coming out? Because yeah, I did it this morning and I yeah, couldn't get it. Out of the it does come out. And here's something that you shouldn't mix. Food that you should cook. Food <coughs> that you shouldn't mix. In the morning, these are foods that must be cooked during the grow. One, cashew. You must cook it. Or you roast it, yeah. otherwise you get a gas. That's our excess time. Well, I thought it was, I mean, I've had cashew and it didn't make Not sense. Not raw, I mean, raw. Well, I've had it raw, it's really wonderful. But I don't do it anymore. <laughs> it's pretty bad sure enough. It, <laughs> it, it builds up, though, isn't that what you said one time? There is the cashew food. It looks like a pear. And inside is a big store that like kiwi food. And the meat is like a cotton candy. And at the bottom of this food, literally, is then the first end of a bag. <laughs> so that all the waste products from the food will go into this, and that's where the cashew nut is formed. And the protein waste will high in nitrogen. That's what protein is. And when you put heat with it, it doesn't destroy the nitrogen. But don't eat it raw because it is toxic from the renal waste product deposit. That's why you don't like it raw. It has a little of a uh, strong arsenic effect. I thought it's art, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, uh -huh. but if you roast it, then that effect is gone and the nitrogen <laughs> effect is there. And, what you and then you can make milk for babies. You can make milk with oil cell out of that in the more I just and it will be calcium outside of a lactic base. 
the reason why astronauts born from the and went into space the very first time in the lost in calcium uh, is because they, they grew up with calcium from the lactic base. And several years ago, I told a friend of mine who lived at NASA, uh, that's the basic reason why the astronauts were having their problems when they first reported it. He turned around and told his youngest sister, who at that time was a, not the qualified uh, scientist she is today, and she's the head of the professional department. When she he told her that she was just in that department for research, and she said to him, who are the children that are going to be this? Well, not this year, in 1984, I was invited to their home, the Christmas party, and when I knocked at the door, the door opened, and out came this well dressed woman, all these beautiful gold braids, and she said, I want to talk to you, I said, what the hell did I do? So he walked and said, This is my younger sister, and I've known her. I've been telling her the, the thing that you said. He said, Yeah, I want to talk to you. He said, Because what you told my brother years ago, and then he had told it to me, and I said, You're a fool. He yes. He said, No, not that, because a lot of things, you're a fool. He said, What uh, came home so strong in her head? But that she had it in the course in front of her in the research. And the only evidence of no break on one of the uh, little mice that they were testing is the one that had the calcium outside the lactic carrier. There was no deterioration in their bone. And she said, she never saw that in any report. But she remembered her brother telling her that statement year, a few years ago that some guy had told her that it was basically. And she said, well, he was using I said you were talking to yes. I said, but here I saw it. Literally, it was just, I want to pick your brain. Yeah. <laughs> You're a lot thinner than I thought you were, she <laughs> But it is evidence now, the Russians have proved it also, and then they, in the last uh, years of their research, and they, they're raising children to go into space, utilizing calcium outside of the lack of space. So they take them away from their mothers, and go and feed them the, the calcium in the milk form, outside of the lactic acid, coming from nuts and from marine life and from eggshells. Like soy? Soy, soy cashew, uh, sardine, and eggshell, and dolomite. These are all the different uh, lactic base and they build their body up with it. Well, that would be the same for us. Earth as well as space that it is to keep your bones from breaking down. Yes, that's why they told us not to drink milk after three months old or three years old. <laughs> Don't we drink our milk? Well, what do we do? We destroy the dairy association business. But as far as human beings concerned, he's not, he isn't destined to stay on the earth. He's supposed to be a star man, isn't he? he he's heading up to the stars. <laughs> so they think we'll find out the culture can't go there. Or the maintain health here on Earth with this whole food run too? Maybe we need a nursery rhyme. Yeah, pick me, pick. Some cow jump over the moon. Pick me, pick me. Maybe that's the best cure for the cow. Carry him over the moon and bring him back. <laughs> then maybe his milk will be better. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's some lesson to be learned. Is that not nursery rhyme? Then the cow went over the moon or something? Okay. I don't remember. The cow jumped a dozen. Mass and the cow. The park shirt twelve. Matching there. That's the wrong one. <laughs> 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 That's the wrong one. 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 Hey, the cat the fiddle. <laughs> That's right. The cow jump over the moon. In as much as they, that may sound as if you're actually right, the chances are of a scientific evidence may come up in a cow transport through that orbital movement and may alter the electric reaction at some future date for the use of that type of you know, if they have to use it. But right now, calcium 
the calcium in the cardinal is not ideal. It's, they have to get it from other sources. But this must be called cashew. The next thing is plantain. That's a type of banana that never gets ripe no matter how long you keep it. So you have to cook it. But if you want to have the nicest pie in the morning, made of the rice flour, mm -hmm. and you take a uh, ripe plantain and bacon and mix it with uh, some avocado. And some uh, walnuts and a little honey and some figs. Right? Some figs and so forth. And you make it high mix. You got one of these. What day do you think of this animal? What day do you cook those? What day do you cook? What day do you serve those? <laughs> <laughs> They used to do that for us sometimes when we were down there. That's a wonderful. I've never seen one. Yeah, we'll find an almond, walnut, and the dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mixed with a, a, a pie mix. Mixed with The next thing you must cook is bread food. Now, this, this is a, you'll find mostly in Hawaii bread food. Now here is the strange thing with nature. Coconut oil is a saturated oil picked from the tree, turned into oil, and that's exactly like a cow fat. That's why it's not ideal for the cow. It's more ideal for massage, ideal for cosmetics. If you mix it with any other food, it'll act just like a piece of beef. And if you mix it with plantain and bread food, nature makes an exception to that. It acts like a, a soybean oil. It's one part of the It reverses its whole chemistry. And it doesn't clog up this thing. And then coconut. These three go together. It's like a plus minus <laughs> They make a complete balanced food in the wine. Now, lunchtime, these are the food you must cook. You bean, you green. Artichoke, rhubarb, Sunset, the nightshade family 
does the reverse like a human being. It takes in oxygen and gives up carbon dioxide and nitrogen. That's why it's dangerous to be around them at night or to have them because of this transitional behavior. That's how people got hurt by eating at the wrong time. But if it's eating at the right time, no problem. So, eggplant and tomato should be cooked, eaten in the middle of the day. Potato is a night time. They should be cooked. That's the other night shift of the potato. Bake it better than fry it. Mushroom. Go in the broth. Go in the broth mushroom. You got the fungi. Then you have asparagus. Cook it. Ready to go. Peanut. Peanut is not a nut. And no need to go. Roast it. It's a They're huge, they're good, really brown, but it's not the same as it's brown. But it's very good to bring down your acid, uh, your alkalinity, if you're too alkaline, if you can stabilize your acid balance. And the best oil is the cooking. You know that. Uh, it doesn't take long to, to make uh, because the, the plant is when it's ripe and you bake it, it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten a baked onion? Mm -hmm. I've heard it very sweet. Yeah, it's, you'd be surprised that when you bake an onion how sweet it is. How good you bake an onion? Well, I just take it and put it in the oven and let it bake. <laughs> no, 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 I just take it and put it in the oven and it bakes. It's a big potato. Don't wrap it up in anything. Just you take the oven and put it in the oven? No, 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 leave it in the skin and just push it in the oven and let it bake. And all you do is when you're ready, you just pull off the skin, it's soft and juicy, sweet and edible. And you love it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Here is a nice combination. A big onion with a sweet baked potato. With a big plantain, you've got a green plantain at night, just like the people want. That's one thing that's planted is not that. And you can uh, and you can uh, you Bake carrots. And you got a delicious, tasty meal. Could you take all this and put it in a pot and let them bake? And make one big casserole? Yeah, you can just separate them out and mix it together. The, uh, the onion can bake in its own skin, mm -hmm. the potato can bake in its own skin. The cars can bake separately, and the uh, planted. No, I don't take a skin. Let's bake it size skin. You bake your plant before you put the plant together. You have to bake it first before you mix it. Then you put it all. Then you put all red ingredients in the pie shell. Then you mix it up again the pie shell. Finally, chop it. Right. It doesn't take that long. Once it's baked, it's baked. You made a soup one time, a long, long time ago, that was just wonderful. And you put Irish potatoes and sweet potatoes yeah. and onion and a little bit of cabbage. Was that all? That was all that was in that soup, wasn't yeah. it? It was really good. Now you can bake your garlic with it too. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, these are the tree cheese. Swiss. Cheddar. Montfleury. Jack. Don't melt it. Just take a slice of it. Mix it with uh, one clove of garlic, a slice of uh, onion, and a little celery, not uh, parsley. Chew it out together, let it dissolve in the mouth, and swallow it. And then drink a little aloe vera juice. Don't wash it for a whole hour. Well, now I, I, I chewed up my, my aloe vera with it. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. That is to kill the odor. I know, but there for a while it was part of your big half corn to you. That's exactly the question. It's worth a while. Take a moment trying to get your mouth to kill you, and they want to kiss you and say, oh, you smell like garlic. <laughs> so it's better to smell of parsley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so do it around 6 o'clock time. So it builds the gums back and it prevents diarrhea. Can you drink a little red wine with this? Yeah. Won't they cut the cheese, though? <laughs> if you drink the wine, you, like you Absolutely. said before, not to. Yeah. Can you hear that, Jim? If you drink the wine, don't drink it for till an hour after you. Oh. Hour after you put it in your mouth. You don't want to cut the the vinegar after you cut the cheese. Listen, eat that eat that clove of garlic all in one too, kiddos. Because I want you to know, if you if you do it, if you bite into the garlic once and you chew it up. Then if you bite into the other half of it, it is like eating the fire. Thank you. Too much. Thank you.